we're doing it back here again for a new Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS update. I've got a lot of cool stuff to show off in this video. I've got a nice stack of Blu-rays. I've got a couple horror titles. I've got some Blu-ray steelbooks, as well as a DVD of one of my favorite films, and a really cool horror big box VHS. And I've also got a cool t-shirt from my all-time favorite band. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to show off is a DVD of one of my all-time favorite movies. It's a movie that I've talked about um, a lot on my channel, so I'm not going to um, talk about it in this video. But I've wanted a DVD release of this movie for a long time. And I just haven't gotten it because it's out of print and people have been wanting a lot of money for them online but I recently found somebody that was selling um, a lot of copies of it online for a really good price and I jumped on it and the movie I'm talking about is Night of the Twisters like I said I've talked about this movie a lot on my channel um, so I'm not going to talk about it in this video but I've been wanting a DVD release of this movie an official DVD release and somebody was selling them for a really good price so I went ahead and I jumped on it um, first off, I, I'm not a big fan of this front cover because this never happens in the movie. I mean, the little boy, you know, this little boy and, uh, his dad, you know, he, they never appear in the movie. Um, it is a cool image, but this just never happens in the movie. Um, you know, I was kind of wondering why they didn't have an image of, you know, Devin Sawa and John Schneider on the cover, um, since they are in the movie. So, it's a cool image, but it never happens in the movie, so I thought it was weird that they, um put this on the front but um here's the side right here and then here's the back now this image right here does happen in the movie of john schneider um carrying the dog the only thing is on the back they try to make it look like he's carrying the dog away from the tornado which never happens um in the movie um but you know at least they have an image of john schneider on the on the back so um but i do know that there are a lot of bootlegs of this movie online but the reason why I noted this is an official DVD release is because right here it says GT Media, who are the people who released the movie on DVD. So that's how I know that this is an official release because it has, you know, this logo. Um, I have seen bootleg copies of it on DVD and they don't have that logo. Um, so that's how I know that it is an official DVD release. I didn't want a bootleg of it. I wanted an official one. But like I said, you know, some people just want crazy money for it. Um, here's the DVD, and once again, as you can see, it does have the GT Media logo, so very, very happy to finally own this movie on DVD, because like I said, it's one of my favorite films, and I've wanted this DVD for a very long time, so very happy. Now up next, I got a stack of Blu-rays from my good buddy Justin. Um, he was kind enough to give me every Die Hard movie on Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, right here, we have the first Die Hard. Then we have a Die Hard 2, Die Hard with a Vengeance, Live Free or Die Hard, and A Good Day to Die Hard, the extended cut. And he also gave me The Island, um, which is very cool. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always grateful whenever Justin gives me movies because... You know, I mean, I know that he um, he's trying to get rid of a lot of movies that he just doesn't watch anymore. He doesn't have a a lot of space um, for his movies, so he's trying to narrow down his collection to just movies that he likes to watch, and so he's been giving me a lot of his movies because, you know, he'd rather give them to me than, get, than, than take them to Cash Converge or FYE or somewhere because he knows that he's not going to give, he's not going to get a lot of money for them, and he would rather give them to me, somebody that would that's going to appreciate them instead of giving them to, like, Cash Converge or somewhere, so I always appreciate whenever he gives me movies. Alright, now the next two movies I got from, I want to say I got these from FYE, but I really don't remember. Um, yeah, these two right here, I, I think I got these from FYE. The first one is Children of the Corn Genesis. Um, I, I haven't seen this one. Um, I do enjoy the Children of the Corn movies, or at least the first six. I haven't watched uh, the seventh one in a long time, but I remember it not being one of my favorites. But I do enjoy the first six, and so I thought, I think that this was about like $3.00. And so I thought, why not give this one a shot? Um, I haven't seen um, the latest one either. So I do want to see this one, and I do want to check out the uh, the last one. But uh, yeah, I figured for $3, why not pick it up? And the next one is a music documentary. 
of God Bless Ozzy Osbourne. I am a fan of Ozzy Osbourne, you know, I'm not a huge fan, but I am a, a big fan of his, you know, his big songs, and I've been wanting to see this documentary for a while, because Ozzy Osbourne is, you know, he's a, he's a legend, and uh, he's got a very interesting, um, very interesting story, uh, of course, um, so I've been wanting to see a documentary about him, so pick that one up. Once again, I think I got those two at FYE. Now next to I got, I got these from Big Lots. The first one is a movie that I watched with my cousin. I haven't watched it in a long time, but it's Chronicle uh, for $3. Um, I remember really enjoying this one. Um, this one has both the uh, the theatrical cut and the director's cut. I believe I saw the director's cut. But yeah, like I said, it's a movie I haven't watched in a while, but I do I did really enjoy it. Next one is another um, Big Lots pickup, Bad Grandpa. I was a big fan of Jackass when it was first, you know, when it first aired. I was a big fan of the movies, and then I watched, um, you know, Bam Margera's shows, Viva La Bam, and I was really into that stuff when I was younger. And this came out, and I just never got around to seeing it. But I figured, you know, why not? I've heard it's not the most, you know, it's not the most original idea or whatever, but, you know, I just want to, you know, I've always liked Johnny Knoxville. I, I love when he plays characters like old men and, and stuff, and so I thought that this would have been a really... I think that this would be a really, uh, really fun movie. So I figured, uh, you know, three dollars. Go ahead and pick that one up. All right, now I'm going to show off the two steel books that I got, and I got both of these from Fye. The first one, um, and I haven't seen either one of these movies. The first one is Easy Rider, and uh, this is a steel. This is from the uh, the Pop Art steel book series, I think. Um, I do really like this uh, front cover right here. And you got the back with the American flag. But yeah, this was just one movie that I, you know, I've been wanting to see for a very long time. And um, I'm really happy to uh, finally own it. And now next one, I'm very happy to have this. I did own this movie on DVD, um, but I never watched it. But when I saw the steelbook, um, you know, I had to pick it up. And that is The Warriors. And I just absolutely love the uh, artwork on this one. Very, very cool. And here's the back. This image is the one that they, you know, I usually see on DVD, on other DVD releases. Um, and it does have a, does have a poster as well, which I believe is an FYE exclusive. Which is pretty cool. And then it's just got some inside artwork as well. So yeah, like I said, um, I've never seen this movie. And this is just one movie that I've heard... So many great things about, and it's a movie that I, I feel like I, I should I should have seen a long time ago, so I do plan on checking this movie out very soon. Alright, now I'm going to show off the horror big box that I got. Very, very happy to find this one. This is the Thriller Video Big Box VHS of Tales from the Dark Side. This is Volume 3, which has, I want to say, three episodes. The artwork on this is just absolutely amazing. First off, I love the uh, Thriller Video's tagline, Video Cassettes We Dare You to Watch. So it's from the director of Dawn of Dead, George A. Romero. And then you got the uh, Tale from the Dark Side logo right there, Volume 3. And then, look at that artwork. Just absolutely awesome. Three of the strangest stories ever seen. Yeah, um, These are uh, Thriller Video big boxes. I believe they put out three of them from the Tales from the Dark Side. If somebody, I've only seen three of them, but there might be more. I really don't know. But um, they usually have three episodes. Like this one has three episodes. And they're usually a bit pricey on eBay. But when I saw this one, I knew I, I had to get it. I just love the artwork. I know that you can, you know, you can get the entire series on DVD for like 20 bucks or whatever. But I just thought it was a lot cooler just to have a... Uh, you know, this big box, you know, I love horror, you know, horror big box VHSs, and uh, this was just one of them, and I've been wanting to get more of the Thriller video ones, because some of them are hard to find, I mean, mostly you just see the Elvira big boxes, which are cool, so finding one that's not an Elvira big boxes um, is pretty cool, um, but yeah, and their, and their artwork on, on these are just awesome, so very, very happy to have this, and the last thing I'm going to show off is the t-shirt, and a t-shirt from my favorite band. I got this at Hot Topic. And this is just such a cool shirt. It is a... Hold on, let me move some stuff out of the way. It is a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. 
which as you guys know, Guns N' Roses is my favorite band. When I saw this, I knew I had to get it. Check that out. You got all the band members um, as skeletons. Very, very cool. You got Izzy right there, Axel, Duff, Slash. You got Steven in the background. And then it says Guns N' Roses on stage. Absolutely awesome. I just, I absolutely love this shirt. And in the back, right here, it says, It's So Easy. And then it has this image. For some reason, my camera is making this look blue. Well, I don't know why. This is actually, this, uh, the, the guns and the uh, roses are actually purple. I have no idea why it's making it look blue right right now. Because it's really not, even the outline of the uh, the word is, is purple, not blue. So I don't know why it looks blue. But um, anyway, guys, that is it. That is everything that I've picked up over the past month. Um, I know I didn't pick up a whole lot of horror titles um, throughout October. But um, I, I really didn't buy a whole lot this month, really. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know down below what you guys think about everything I picked up. Let me know what movies you've seen in this video. And let me know what movies uh, you think I should check out first. I know The Warriors is one movie that I've heard you know, amazing things about. And I really need to see them. And I also haven't seen all the Die Hard movies yet. So um, I do need to see those. Um, but yeah, just let me know down below what movie you think I should see first. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or join my movie collecting Facebook group, links to those will be down in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I hope everyone has a great Sunday.